Hello everybody and welcome to your I believe 29th um C++ made easy HD tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be learning about class pointers and arrays. Okay? Uh so uh to start off uh just like We've learned that uh, creating a class is like creating a, a brand new data type, right? Uh, that we can add functions and, and methods and stuff to, right? Uh, so you might be saying, okay, can't, can we do the same thing uh, that other classes had the functionality of, do or other data types had the functionality of doing? And the answer is yes. So uh, let's let's get rid of this. Okay. So say we're gonna create, say we want to create a group of players, right? As we learn about in arrays, arrays are used to group a data type and in, into um into one type, right? Like in, under one name, right? So say we we're creating enemies and we want to create multiple players for whatever reason, right? Uh, for the player uh class we could we could say player one we could have player two etc etc but uh why why not just have an array of four so we create four players right away and we can access by saying player zero whatever whatnot and each one is its own separate value right just like arrays so this will be its own separate player class player zero uh will represent its own separate player uh, class player one will represent its own etc etc right um, so what does this mean for um, constructors, right? Uh, so b by default, constructors will the default constructor will be called. Okay. So uh, say we want to uh, call um, this constructor right here. So uh, second overload. Okay. So say we want to call this. And uh, how we do it, right? Because we we. We, do, we can't just do that, right, and just put something in. We want to specify it right away. But as we said, is that whenever we create an instance of the class, that's when the constructor is called. So by default, we're going to be calling this constructor right here, but we want to call this one, right? Well, the good thing about it is that if, um, just like um, when we have, um, just like how we have arrays, we can initialize something of it right away. So for example, we we could put uh let's say uh one two three and four okay uh so uh well, let's just put something right here see out first overload and del and let's say CL, I, don't, I shouldn't have deleted these, third overload. Anyways, okay, so we got that set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to call player zero dot display health. Okay, so let's see what we get. And we got an error. Oh, because we don't have anything for the destructor. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, so all of these, uh, it's a second overload, and I, I it says a bad value for health is because we don't set a value for health, um, in our constructor. So right here, if we set uh this, uh, pointer to health is equal to health. Uh, so it would display the health value that we put we posted in there. Okay, so then now it comes down to what if we want to do the second overload right here? Well, that's how we would do it, or I mean the third overload. So we do it uh, by doing like this. Okay, so if we have only one thing in a parameter, we can put the value like uh, like so, and that'll be fine. But if we want to do an, another overload, what we can do is that we can say the class name, and then we put the parameters. So. I could say uh, two five or whatever, and I could say um, player ten six, and then for this one I could say just player two for the f um, f one overload, and for this one I could say player one. Okay, so 
if we run this, if this runs correctly, this should say third overload for the first two and second overload for the second two. So if we run this, two third overloads and two second overloads, and we get an error because uh, we don't initialize anything with health here. So if we say this health is equal to health, I know you can't see the end of that health, but it's there. So as you can see, whatever we specified for health is displayed over there. So the value two, we did put in two for health, it displays it there. If you put a hundred in there, uh, then it will display a hundred. So that is the way that we can use arrays in order so we can uh, we can choose our constructor even if we use an array value if we want to um, do it like that. Okay. Uh, so what? So now let's get into something else. Uh, so now uh, uh, we can get into uh, let's say pointers okay uh, so let's say we have um, player we have player one and player two and we'll say player two is equal to ampersand player one okay so anything if we set player two uh, and we're gonna say Let's say uh void set health and let's put in a value and we'll say health is equal to value. Okay, so by default, uh let's say health is equal to one hundred. Okay, so by default health is equal to hundred for both of them, right? Uh so we're gonna say uh player uh two Sorry, player two. Oh, yeah. This is why it doesn't. This is why it's not working. Okay. Uh, when it comes to classes and objects and stuff like that, whenever you create a pointer to something, you can't just use the dot operator. The dot operator doesn't work. We need to use the pointer symbol. So remember when we use the this key uh, word and we use the dash and the arrow. That stands for a pointer. And for classes, that's how we use um, class pointers, right? To access certain things in the class whenever a class is a pointer. So what we have to do is say player two and put the arrow and we'll say set health and we'll set that to 50. So now if we call player one dot display health, we should get the value 50. So if we run this, we get the value 50 like we're supposed to get. So pointers work in the same um the same way as regular um as regular data types. Now uh, you might kind of think it's pointless. Why do I need to do a pointer to another uh another instance of player, right? Uh well, uh, there's many advantages, and we're gonna see the biggest advantage when we get into polymorphism. Uh, uh, but for now, uh, the like anything you can do with any other data type, you can do it with um, with uh, with a player de uh, player type. So even if you want to do a um, a type def or something, you can do it like so. Another thing uh, that we will you can talk about about classes is that uh, say for example for the player class, you're only gonna have two instances of the player class. What you could do before you put the semicolon that you can create the uh, the three instances right here and then you put a semicolon after so right away uh, we can call like player one dot set health and we can set a value and say player one uh, dot uh, display health or something like that so it already um, initializes it for us right away once you put it over there so that's something you can do if you're you're going to only initialize a, a little stuff a little bit of stuff you can even put an, a, um, an array in there I believe uh, so let's try this so uh, we could even put an array of five in there and then we can call uh, whatever so if we are going to be calling a group of something we know we're only going to be cre we're going to create an instance for it we can create it over here so we don't have to create an instance in main if that's what you want to do um, but that's up to really programming style and, and what you really like uh, so that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye